Okay, so this is a huge feeding video, I don't know what number. Um, Camphor Scurry at Aatrox is about there. Um, can't see it very well. Um, it has got a hole to the top now because um, I dug it out, dug it out a bit and it's <clears throat> made that into a tunnel. Um, I sound rough by the way because I've got a cold. Um, so all I've done is chucked a locust in. If it's hungry, I'll eat it. If not, it won't. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on B. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to feed everything pretty much. Um, I'll attempt to feed everything except the tea octa because that molted the other day. Um, I haven't had time to do the video yet, so it'll be after this. Um, so that's why you're not seeing my tea octa. So yeah, um, I'm doing my feeding video feeding on Sundays now, so the video should be out shortly after. Um, maybe even the same day, depending if I get time to edit. So yeah, um, just thought I'd give that kind of little update and I'll move on to the next one. Bye for a sec. Uh, for people who have watched my channel in a while, they'll know that um, I found a centipede in my scorpion tank um, and I kept it as a pet. Um, it could just be a British wild one, not too sure, but um, I'm going to chuck a locust in. It never really eats, um, but I'm not too fussed, it's awesome to watch. I don't want to poke the locust because it might run up my tweezers. As you can see, it's alive, doing well. Um, don't do too much. Quite chilled out for a centipede. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just water it and leave it be. But that's the centipede that I found in my scorpion tank. So yeah, um, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Um, I just had to show this off. Holophilic Incy Gold. Absolutely gorgeous species and hits like a ton of bricks. So it's about the size of a. F hmm. Well, it's decent size now, I suppose. It used to be about the size of a fingernail. Okay, let's see if it's hungry. Let me just get a good view of the tea. Something you don't do see too often on my channel because it's very shy. I'm gonna crush a locust and leave it be because um, I don't stress it out too much because it's fast. Okay, back in a sec. Uh, what I'm having to do is because I don't have any small locusts left, what I want to feed the teas is I'm crushing medium locust for the slings and just dropping it in. Um, they'll still eat it, no problem. Um, it's just crushed and it's dead, so um, they'll just have a munch on it. If they do get into any problems, I'll just take it out. And um, I'll try and give an update. This is literally just after the Holophil into Gold is munching on the locust. Very odd little tea. Good eater, though. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this in with this one. It'll do fine. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one, which will be getting the same because it's still quite small. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Grammar Lamphrosina looking very red. And um, the locust is just twitching, is pretty dead. Um, so yeah, Grammar Lamphrosina looking absolutely awesome. Next malt it'll start getting proper colours, but it looks awesome at the moment. Okay, I'm going to leave this one be and move on to the next one, which, if I'm honest, should be able to take a medium, even if it's, um, well, actually, the next one won't, the one after will. Okay, back in a sec. Um, this was an actual shock. I just dropped it in because, usually, it never goes for anything, just leaves it be, runs off being skittish. But that was literally a locust, the size of it. And it grabbed it straight away. 
And now it's in its burrow with it. This is my ground stall pork ripes. They're very good eaters, but that was a very big shock. Must have been quite hungry. Well, um, that was a shock. Um, I'm gonna leave it be anyway. I'm just, I'll just watch it and leave it be. So, yeah, sorry about that, people. Kind of missed it, and that were a really good attack. Oh well. We want to the next one. Back in a sec. Um, so this is my GBB, um, and I'm just going to show you a reason why to get a GBB. Hits like a ton of bricks every time. Plus, absolutely gorgeous tees. Look awesome, and they're awesome weathers. Um, so this is my adult female. She's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favourite teas in my collection. Not one of my favourite species, but her personally is one of my favourite out in my collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, um, I'm just going to leave a bee to eat that and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Nando Chromatis. Um, I'm going to feed her a bit bigger than usual because um, she's a really good eater. Um, so let's see if she's hungry. Yep usual. Nandu is one of my all time favourite species, absolutely love them. Every single one in this genus I think is awesome. <coughs> Especially after a malt they look really nice. Um, a lot different to um, what they usually like. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Ok, back in a sec. So this is my Avicularis species Pro Purple. Um, I'll be honest with you, before I had this genus, I wasn't a massive fan, I just thought, oh, I've grown an Avic, I might as well buy it. But I'm so glad I did, because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's made a little bit of webbing and it's sitting on it at the moment. It's usually um, see it wandering around the top half of the holes. Um, chilling out. We'll see if it's hungry. It should be, but it's a bit shy. And she's grabbed it off my tongs. Well, it's unsexed. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> it was quite a shy tea, but um, since putting it in here, it seems to um, come out of its shell a bit. Um, always out, always wandering, um, not fussed at all. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to see. Um, it is a bit big, but it seems to house it perfectly fine. Plus, it helps with the, um, keeping the humidity because it's a lot easier to keep humidity in a big tank. So, yeah, uh, oh, and ventilation. So, it's easy to for both. So, I'm just going to leave it be and move on to the next one. So, yeah, Avicularis species Peru purple. Back in a sec. Um, this one we're trying to tempt out. And it's working. And here she is. Um, my teeth are all hardened because um, it's been about a week and a half since she malted. Um, should be hungry, so I'm going to feed her my Nandu Colorado Velosis. Quite an underrated species, to be fair, but when they're malt, they get a black velvety colour abdomen. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, feed her a large. So if she can go back to a diet of good sized meals because for a while she was on a bit of a diet she was fat but now she's malted I can give her whatever she'll eat so yeah I'm just going to drop some in and see if she's hungry might still be a bit iffy from because sometimes teas aren't too fussed for a while once they're malted um, at least with mine See if I can see now. Fangs are hardened up, you can just see the bark. Yep, you can see them. Definitely hardened up. Just might not be fussed. 
Um, I'm not going to leave it in there, to be honest. Um, I don't see much point. Um, I'll just feed her in two weeks and she'll be happy. It's not like she's... Even because she's molted, even though she's lost some weight, she's still quite fat, so... I'm quite happy just to take that out and feed her in two weeks. Just give her some water. Okay, we'll leave her be. Back in a sec. So this is Mark, my wee bony. Um, he's in suspect pre malt but... Have a look. So yeah, um, just struck it, left it, didn't want it, just pissed off, he's looking very dark, so I'm just going to leave him be, I don't want to stress him out too much anyway, so yeah, that's Mark, the bee bony, probably going to mature out next month, so yeah, I'll leave him be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. So I thought I'd include it, um, this is my adult female. Amphipelma calcodes. I always mention she's captive bred because it's absolutely awesome. And um, she's in very very heavy pre malt, so I'm not going to bother her by um, feeding her. I'm just going to leave her be. Fill up a water bowl. And that's all she needs. I'm just going to leave her be then. Okay. Mm, back in a sec. So this is my spar bothery half money. It's looking a bit dark, so it might not eat, but we'll have a look. To locust would fall off the trees. We tapped him, he didn't notice. That could just be him being daft. There is a fruit fly, but I'll grab it. Fruit flies out. Um, yeah, I'm guessing some pre malt. Yeah. Okay, so an emphish does this, and the Alpha Palmas do it. I didn't know small Barfries did it, but their fret postures is them throwing their abdomen up, so he's very pissed off. So, all I'm going to do is take that out and leave him be because he's obviously in pre malt. Hopefully, his horn will come through a bit better next malt. Okay, I'll we'll leave it be. It is looking very dark though when you look. Um, but sometimes teas eat even at late stages of pre malt. I can't remember which tea it was, but one of my teas ate and then four days later malted. So, okay, we'll leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So, this is my Fimictopus platus. Um, this is the first time it's going to eat since it's malted. Um, so, I'll see if it's hungry. Yes. It was quite a shy eater, um, but it hits like a ton of bricks, like a normal for Mictopus now. <laughs> Which is all good, not complaining. So, that's it. I'm just going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Really quite calm for a for Mictopus though. This is actually the one that I've actually handled, which... I don't handle many of my teas, but I've handled this one. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my Holofella Inse. Um... Dropped it in by accident, but be right. I'm just gonna leave it in there because um, she'll grab it in her own time. She's quite shy. Um, I'll give her a second just while I water it. Um, so if she comes out for it, highly doubt it. She's quite shy. Yeah, I hope she's jumped out. Okay, well, I'm gonna chuck it back in with and leave her be. Okay, back in a sec. Um, this is my El Kluge, uh, I'm pretty confident she's in um, Primo. I'll show you her. I'll actually drop some air, because it looks like she's hungry. So she didn't go to fret posh, she just turned around like she was hungry. So I'll have a look. Hello girl. One of my prize teas. No. Oh, you're not too happy with me. See if she's hungry. Well, I can try and help get that off for you, but you're gonna throw a hissy fit. So. Hungry? Hungry? Nope, just pissed off. Okay, I'll leave her be. Yeah, she's in suspect pre malt and she's absolutely huge, so I'll get to measure the malt 
which I am looking forward to. Okay, we'll leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. Yeah, last year, um, last year, Dora, one of my favourite genus. And this Alcluga is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my LP. I want to see if it's hungry. Should be. Fingers crossed it will grab it because it's a pain in the ass to get locusts out of here. I hope he grabs it. Yes, thank God for that. That's how LPs are when you're hungry. Absolutely awesome eaters. All last year Doras are. That's why I'm one of my favourite genuses. This is a suspect male, but not too sure. Okay, we'll need to eat and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is one thing I've been looking forward to since she's malted. I'm going to try and tempt her out. Right at the back. So take more to try and tempt her out. Because um, as you can see, she's all the way at the back. A bit unsocial. Um, I want to chuck a locust in and leave a be. Okay, back in a sec. Um, I was just messing about trying to give her a locust and she actually grabbed it. And they can't see her real well, but this is my Pamphobetes 40 adult female. Um, you can't see her too well. Um, I'll try and get some video of her when she comes out, don't mind when. So it might be a random video. So yeah, watch out for that. Um, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is the male ca counterpart to the tea you just saw. This is a Femictopus um, fortis male. Um, I just watered the enclosure and he's gone for it, so I know for a fact he's going to eat. So wait for the bricks to fall. One, two, three. That's what I mean. And this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous species as a male. Um, females, not so much, but males are gorgeous. Nice pink carapace. Especially when they're freshly molded, it's crazy how nice they are. But yeah, this is my male. He's pretty nice. Um, not too aggressive, but a bit skittish. So yeah, um, shall leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my Anemphis um, Intermedius. Um, I'm just going to chuck this in. It is a bit bigger than what I'd usually feed it, but it should do fine. One, two, three. Yep. Um, so I always call these the expensive pamphos because that's pretty much what they are. Um, really, really nice species. They kept the same. Um, except they look a lot nicer. Uh, my personal opinion, they look a lot nicer than Panthos, but they've got the um, same pattern on the carapace and just very similar to Panthos. Very, very similar. Okay, so I'm going to leave him be, and he's a suspect male. Leave him be, and we want to the next one. Back in a sec. Victopus concerites. These are one of my favourite all time teas, and I'm going to show you why. One, two, three. Caught it in midair. Plus, it's one of the pissiest teas you'll ever have. The more vicious than baboons. And that's saying something. Because look at the OBT. It should be B. Um, crap. 
um, BBT brown bitey tarantula. So that's what these are. <laughs> Had a bit of stroke there, but right. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, um, so this is my Seafash Atom. This is another really pity tea. Um, so this is the Tiger Rump Bitey Tarantula. Okay, um, see if she's hungry. Thing with this one is she's really shy on camera. But nearly always eats. Um, I'm just gonna leave that in. I'm gonna let her get it in her own time. Okay, we'll leave it be. Back in a sec. So this is my Haplopus species Columbia Large. Just gonna drop this in. Uh, leave her be because I don't think she's gonna eat it. Um, she's in suspect pre molt. Um, as you can see, um, so I'm just going to leave a B and get it out later if she didn't eat it. Okay, we'll leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Holofelli Sanguiniceps. This is probably the best video footage you're ever going to see of one. Well, at least on my channel. Um, because they're not seen too often. Uh, this is an immature male. Very, very skittish and very, very fast. Um, literally I'm going to drop the locust in and leave it be um, hopefully it won't run off it's been quite calm so I reckon it's in pre molt because holophily one of the main things I usually notice when they're in pre molt is they're slow and not very skittish but if, um, so yeah this looks like it's webbing a bit, so it could molt very soon. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. If it does molt, just take the locust out straight away. So yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Lassiodora Stratipes. Looks to be in heavy pre molt. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave that in, but I'm pretty sure he's in pre molt so if he is, I'll just take it out in a couple of days, no problem. So yeah, I've got one tea left to do and then the update, um, so yeah, uh, back in a sec. So this is my K Brunny Peach, just going to drop that in. See if she grabs it. Should hit like a ton of bricks. Oh. Oh. There we go. Awesome. Um, back into the cave. So yeah, what a way to finish. It was actually a pretty good way to finish. I quite like that. Um, I'm just gonna show off my scorpions because um, they need feeding. So yeah. Um. I'll just sort these out and I'll feed the scorpions. Back in a sec. So I'm just going to give an update on my 2HP. So this is the suspect female. I'm probably not going to try breeding these again. Um, not too forced. Um, that's the suspect male. Um, so that's the female. I'll just poke the male to show he's alright. Yeah. Just hides down there all the time. The female's pretty much out all the time, just wandering. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much them. Just thought I'd give an update. Um, I'll give an update on who's eight probably tomorrow, and then leave a couple of days. If any malt join the process, I'll take it out and do a separate video about malts. So yeah, um, I'm back in the set, people. Hello. So it's been a couple of days, and I'm just going to give a quick update on what ate. Campfire trucks didn't eat. The Gramostola Amphracina did. The Crapodromus Puriscal ate a bit, which so left a bit, so I need to clean it out. Um, HNT ate. Um, Lassiodora Stratopes hasn't ate, but it's in heavy pre molt. Um, yeah, Lassiodora Stratopes. Holofelli Sanguiniceps ate a bit, which so left a bit. Pumpkin Patch um, didn't eat, but it looks like he's going to molt. Yeah, that's gonna melt. Um, see, Fashy Atom did eat as well. So yeah, that's just a little update. Um, so 
So yeah, that's what's eight. Um, so that's a feeding video, huge feeding video. I can't even remember now. I'm doing that many. Okay, so a bit, people. Bye.